A very good evening to all of you. So now we would be starting with the MCQs for environment. We would have 10 questions today based on the contemporary happenings. So let's start with the very first question. And this question talks about the domestic exploration of lithium. Now based on this, you have to identify which of the following statements are correct. So let's start with the very first question. Now those uh, answering the question, make it a point to mention the question number along with the correct answer so that we are able to uh, get the correct answers from you. Okay, so uh, very first question. Now here we focus on lithium exploration. So the first statement says the traces of lithium resources have been recently identified in Mandia district in Karnataka. Then AMD is the newest establishment of a department of atomic energy uh, the next statement says amd is silvery non-white metal and the last statement says that at present india imports all the lithium requirements now you have to identify which of the following statements are correct so here we have four of the statements and uh, Siddharth has the first answer, okay, uh, Siddharth we have not to identify the incorrect statements but the correct statements. So traces of lithium have been identified in the Mandia district which is correct. Uh, the next is the AMD which is the oldest establishment and it is the Atomic Mineral Directorate for Exploration and Research. Okay, so this is the incorrect statement. Lithium is silvery white metal. So again incorrect and India definitely imports all the lithium uh, requirements as of now and it is dependent on China for the same. Great Altaf, the answer is correct. Okay, great going. Let's move to the next question. The next question talks about the Retail Hydro Electricity Project. So the Retail Hydro Electricity Project, you have to identify which of the following are incorrect statements. Okay. So here we do not have to identify the correct statements. We have to identify the incorrect statements. So which of these are incorrect? Uh, looking for the correct answers. Uh, now here the first statement says that the approval has been given by Union Cabinet of India for development of Retail Hydroelectric Project in Jammu and Kashmir. So that is the correct statement. Uh, then we have the project talks about employment direct and indirect to around 4000 people and World Bank has allowed India to construct it in 2017. However, there is the issue that the objections have not been raised by Ch uh, China but by Pakistan as uh, Pakistan considers this to be a, a, a issue against the Indus Water Treaty Agreements 1960. So you have 1, 3 and 4 as the correct statement and only 2 is the incorrect statement since it's as incorrect you have uh, C as the right option. Clear? Let's move to the next question. Shetranji and Bhadar dams, why are they important? So Shetranji is on Shetranji river and Bhadar is on Bhadar river. Uh, both of these dams run across the Bhavnagar districts in Gujarat and Shetranji is important because it runs uh, opposite to, the dam is opposite to the flow of river and it is located uh, close to Amreli. Now here what has been important, it was for the first time that region has received more than 100% of the average rainfall and both the dams had to be opened simultaneously either of the dam overflowed in 12 different years but it was neither that both of them had overflowed in the same year so uh, you have two as the incorrect option and then you have uh, two only as the incorrect option and Bhadar Dam is located in the Rajkot district Chetranji in the Bhavnagar, Bhavnagar district okay so both of these are the uh, correct option so the only incorrect option is 2 and you are again asked about incorrect option so C as someone has mentioned is the right option okay great I would again request you to mention question number along with the uh, correct answer to avoid confusions great going let's move to the next question and this question is a surprise question uh, looking for the first correct answer for this question uh, Kaleshwaram lift irrigation project which of the following statements are correct with regards to it 
so uh, we have four statement given the statement says godavari is the second longest river after ganga parinita river is the largest tributary of godavari and uh, the project facilitates in drinking water and irrigation for the backward areas of karnataka and this lift irrigation project lies at the confluence of parinita river and the godavari river now all these topics that we are covering for mcqs this time are based on the recent happenings contemporary topics so very very important for any of the exams that you are appearing for in the coming months now uh, here fourth question looking for the correct answer so uh, still looking for the correct answer for question number 4 uh, and we have kaleshwar uh, kaleshwaram lift irrigation project which is uh, at the confluence of godavari and parinita so that's the correct statement then we have godavari definitely is the second longest river after ganga parinita is one of the largest tributaries of godavari and this would help in bringing drinking water to the backward areas of karnataka as well so you have all the four statements as the correct statement so you have d as the right option the next is iceberg a 68 a very very important this was part of our down to earth analysis as well and it's really really important sahiti has the right answer great going so please uh, mention your complete postal address uh for a special gift from our side now icebergs uh and this iceberg of uh, um, the larsen ice shelf has been important because recently there were news that uh, this iceberg has been calving that is it has been breaking now uh, why that has happened and how is the question here now this as i said was part of down to earth analysis very very important cover down to earth very carefully lot of question asks every time now uh, question uh five looking for the correct option so the choices says you have to identify only the correct option not the incorrect option so this was a glacier which has been drifting towards the island of south georgia so three is incorrect calving is a process where glacier flows into the river and it's not directly because of sunlight but we say uh, sometimes there can be dry calving that occurs but usually it is when the glacier moves into the water okay so fourth is incorrect but yes this glacier got split off as i mentioned from the larsen ice shelf uh, of the west of antarctic peninsula and this is a kind of uh, shape which is similar to a finger so we have one and two as the right option and uh, three and four are the incorrect options here okay let's move to the next question next question talks about another important project seabed project 2030 so seabed project 2030 is another important topic for your upsc this time and this project was uh, so you have to identify which of the statements are incorrect okay so there are certain correct statements certain incorrect statements you have to identify uh, which of these are incorrect so this project is in collaboration with nippon foundation japan and general bathymetric chart of oceans Uh, gapco as it is called as and it maps nearly one fifth of the ocean floor this has been launched at the un ocean conference in 2017 so again incorrect it was not the brics conference and it is aligned to the uh, sdg goal 14 so one and four are the correct option since it's asked about the incorrect option two and three are the incorrect option so b is the right answer i hope that makes it clear great so let's move to the next the next one is really interesting yanomami tribe yanomami tribe is a tribe from uh, south america mainly in the areas of north brazil and south venezuela now these people are unique because they consider everyone as equal there is no chief of the clan some of their houses are very very big they are also called as yanos and these yanos can accommodate up to 400 people in one go in certain cases usually the houses are circular in nature and the language they speak is zirana so uh, some of the very 
very important uh, information and it has been important because this is one of the largest relatively isolated tribe that has been seen and amidst pandemic this has been in news recently so uh, there were cases of contracting covid under this tribe and this was a severe concern uh, the tribe is not too big it has around 40000 members approximately 40000 members and most of the members uh, occupy a huge area in terms of the land in around 10 to 12 hectares of land in brazil and venezuela so definitely they have huge area and are highly isolated so here we have all the statements as the correct statement uh, i guess that's clear let's move to the next question about amnesty international now amnesty international again an important question you have to identify which of the following statements are incorrect about it now definitely there are first and the second statements mentioned where it was founded now amnesty international was in news recently because of the northwest delhi riots northeast delhi riots that had happened and uh, therefore there was demand for uh, the allegations that were put uh, during the riots and amnesty international has been awarded awarded nobel prize for peace in 1977 so 3 and 4 are the sorry this is 4 so 3 and 4 are the correct statements now amnesty international found, was founded in london in 1961 so the first statement is correct second is incorrect so the only correct statement here is 2 and i have lots of lots of answers that are coming here great Okay, the next important question is about Haritpath mobile app. Now, Haritpath mobile app is an important mobile app which has been developed by uh, the National Highway Authority of India. The idea is to create green highways and within just a period of 25 days, 20 lakh trees were planted last year from July to August and this was the idea behind the development of Haritpath. Now, Haritpath mobile app has been developed developed by BRO border roads organization and the plantation drive under it is known as Harit Bharat Sankalp. It is useful not only to monitor locations but also to monitor the species and the plant of tree, the types of the trees that are planted. So uh, fourth is the incorrect option 1, 2 and 3 are the correct options here. So D as many of you have said is the right answer great. Now uh, coming to the last question now just a important uh, information we would be covering a series of expected topics for UPSC across all subjects in the coming days before your prelims examination and all these topics which we have covered in the MCQ sessions here would be part of the session so don't miss uh, those expected series classes we are talking about uh, lots and lots of uh, questions which have been composed from down to earth especially uh, very very important sections on environment so the last question for here is about banana grit and you have to identify which of the statements are incorrect about banana grit so you have the various choices which are given here identify which of the statements are incorrect now banana grit is also known as nindran banana and got a gi tag back in 2000 sorry got a GI tag back in 2014. Uh, it is white granular, uh, it is organic and tasteless powder, the starch that is obtained from it. So this is again incorrect, it's not non-organic, it's organic and it is used to produce resistant starch in banana and these granules have been developed by the CSIR lab uh, mainly the NIAST which is located at Tiruvananthapuram so 1 and 2 are the correct statements 3 and 4 are the incorrect statements as Sahiti has again mentioned great so D is the right answer so that was about the discussion for the important topics all of these topics that we have uh, taken here in the questions would be part of our expected questions classes so do not miss the expected series topic that would be coming soon and this week and next week morning 11 30s we have a series of covid information portal which is coming and uh, we would be meeting this saturday again at 6 pm the theme would be how to juggle between a job and an exam preparation for those preparing with exams simultaneously working uh, so for them 
time we have a special coverage this was a request from some of our viewers so we would be covering that on priority and definitely in the meanwhile if you have any questions any doubts feel free to post those either as comment here or simply email us to admin at stay safe study well have a wonderful day ahead